R&D, digital technology has the potential to really change the way that we do business and the way that we invent. For instance, for me, I would consider that we apply digital technology right from the start when we're thinking about um, experimentation. So we use uh, design of experimentations to think about how we focus our experiments so that we do less experiments for maximum effect. And that means that we also need really good computational modeling. So, and that's across scales. That's looking at everything from our advanced characterization when we're imaging, all the way up to perhaps digital twins when you're thinking about reactor design or even plant design. In microscopy, we've got these manufacturers who've really, really developed the kit and they've really pushed the physics, but the, the software is catching up and we're generating thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, like uh, gigabytes of data and uh, we don't have the capability to analyze it really, really fast. This is a new generation of uh, microscopists that are being trained where you have experience operating the instrument, but also being able to analyze a lot of this data using open source libraries, uh, that sort of thing. So a, a lot of Python scripting, a lot of MATLAB scripting, all of these things. But then there is the other aspect of it, which is the more recent thing, is where um, you draw inspiration from the, let's say, the biology field but they're far better at it than the physical sciences at the moment, which is the AI part. And this is where we're like now moving towards training neural networks to do our heavy lifting for us. A few samples that used to take days are now being done in seconds, which is absolutely amazing. It's really all about collecting really good data with advanced instrumentation, securing it, um, manipulating it, and then presenting it back to the scientist in a way that's meaningful for their experimentation. We have to think about this as a, uh, an integrated product development type of activity. So as we go through the development of our materials and our structures, um, we are talking to our customers about what that means for them in their final application of the products that we make. Um, so we, we join up characterization data with data from uh, uh, testing um, and then data from modeling um, to work out how materials and how structures and uh, various different products might be able to operate in, in the real world environment which our customers need to see. If you think about some of the really big global challenges, this does really play into that piece because when you're trying to think about sustainability, sustainable technology platforms, digital should speed innovation but it also will help us invent perhaps cleaner routes to sustainable chemistry which can only be a benefit for everyone and it's what we all aspire to do.